Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me for today's festive video. So I have a really good project to share with you guys today. So I'm going to be showing you how to make this smaller one here. This is kind of like a basket gift box pouchy sort of thing. So it just opens up like that and you can have these down so they lie flat. So today we're going to be making this one and on my website, the link for this will be down below, I will have the sizes to make the bigger one. So the method is exactly the same, it's just a larger version. So for those measurements, those are on my website and you can link down straight below and that will take you to everything that I've used today, the instructions, this video, and just everything else and the extra photographs. So today we're gonna to be making this tiny one here. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna be starting off with a sheet of A5. And I'm just gonna trim this down just slightly. So I did change my blade, so thank you to everyone from, uh, I can't remember which video it was, just to say change your blade because I was having a few problems with my last one, so it was definitely time for a change. So I'm going to trim this down to 8 inches, just to take that off there, there we go. If I make any more out of a different colour, I'm going to save this strip because you do need a strip to add here, so I might just keep that if I make another one of these boxes out of red cardstock that would look quite nice pop this away okay so this is an a5 sheet and i've trimmed it down to eight that way okay so grab your scoreboard just need to check the lighting which is quite bright let's turn that down my light might start to squeal a little bit if you turn the, the settings on it does make like a squealy noise it's very strange okay so we're going to start in landscape now and we are going to score at half an inch just had to double check my measurements were all correct uh, three and three eighths that's three and three eighths and I'm using the Weir Memory Keeper scoreboard I do like this one because it does have all of these measurements at the top here and four and five eighths, four and five eighths. So if you are used to working in centimeters and you're not so good with inches, this one will be a perfect way to kind of bridge that gap because if you have no idea what seven eighths of an inch is, it will tell you here. So it's, it makes it super easy. So we've just done four and five eighths, seven and a half. And don't worry about writing these down because these measurements will be on my website as well. Don't worry about it. Let's turn it once and then score at one and a quarter and then score again at four and five eighths there we go that is it for the scoreboard so i'm just gonna okay so those notches are going to be a lot easier if we do this on the scoreboard so let's play with the lighting again turn that down twice okay so the first notch is at two and one eighth so it's two and one eighth, just a tiny little mark, a little nick mark, just like that. Hoping that will be able to be picked up. If you just see it, it's just here. So that's two and one eighths and five and seven eighths. Just a little mark again. Turn it over, do the same, two and one eighth, just there, and five and seven eighths. There we go. grab yourself a ruler and we are just going to go from this section all the way up to the first notch just like that you can pop a magazine underneath that would help as well so just go around going from the notch just keep going around you only have four to do so it's, it's you know not too bad there we go we now have something that should look like that okay so just fold all of your score lines Now some of these will go the other way, like this one should go this way. There we go. 
okay so these outer ones kind of come out like this because they're going to meet up in that sort of manner so let's sort out the the ends here now so we have these folded in just like that okay so we want to make this sort of pouchy thing here so all you have to do is just hold it here and pull up hold it there and pull up if you want you can you can go in with your bone folder and just reinforce that there we go right that's the first one done fold this over again pop your finger on the main section and lift that up same again here I'm just, I'm just gonna use my finger just to press those down okay so what we're going to do now is we are going to add glue just to this section here we're going to leave this area here unglued so I've got cosmic shimmer in my little bottle here again I will put everything down below all these supplies down below glue that down you can also make this from a 12 by 12 as well basically this is such a simple thing to do you can make this from any size so I do have the A4 there but if you want to see a 12 by 12 let me know there we go so when we open that up that has created a box so you can make all of these up if you have loads to make in advance and um, it's just going to be kind of like a, a factory line I guess when you're ready to do it just assemble everything just make a big assembly line and have some fun so this is going to go up just like so there we go okay so I'm now going to do some stamping you can do this before you pop it together or you can do it afterwards I may get some indent lines here but we're going to be having some foliage covering it so I'm not going to be too fussy on that but if you want to do it the other way around you can do the stamping all over before you do the sides okay so I'm going to be using the Jack Frost stamp set uh, snowflake text and negative background stamp set from textures by Lou Collins I absolutely love this set so I'm going to be using this top one here and I don't actually have a massive acrylic block and I don't want to get my stamping platform out as well on my wish list I have the one that you press down and move about that is on my wish list so I will be getting that okay but because this is just um, we're just gonna do this willy-nilly we are not going to mount this on I'm just going to pop the ink on and I'm just gonna press it down that is it that's all I'm going to do so I'm gonna be using a memento called London fog now this was part of like a big set I think it was about 16 or 17 pounds for like um, like a set of 16 I think I will link I will link it down below I will find the set that this London fog is in um because I don't really tend to use the big pads anymore so I'm just tapping this all over I don't really need this to be perfect or exact this is kind of like a distressed effect anyway on the stamp set so I'm just going to pop this on like that and then just press that down let's see if I get any lines there we go that's worked out quite nicely right, turn it over do that again again I don't really need to use an acrylic block with this if you really wanted to go for just like a really patchy look you can just literally just like tap it on if you want to okay there we go I mean I haven't even taken this stamp off its backing sheet either I've just used it as is okay I need to clean up now let's pop that aside there we go this is really coming together so what's the next thing we're going to do I'm just going to grab myself a peg now this was a uh, quite a large peg you can get them smaller you can get them bigger 
but this is quite a large one I got this from Amazon it was in a bag of say 50 I think but I will find it and I'll link that those down below so if you want to you can just have it like that okay let's decorate so I have used some leaves from making a mess I have used some leaves from Paper Discovery. This is the Bountiful Harvest. This is um, one of one of Olga's latest releases, so it would have been before any Christmas stuff came out. Okay, so it's a die set contains 13. And I will show you the leaves that I have used. Because you do get some really nice intricate cut leaves as well as like the solids so you get the solids here and you also get the ones that do the intricate cuts so that's quite cute so i use those two there's loads of different ones to choose from again this was um released as part of like the autumn fall release however because um leaves are like spring summer autumn you can literally use this any time of year because we've got the bees we've got the butterfly and a dragonfly as well so it is really like three seasons well even four seasons because i'm using this for christmas so it's a very any leaf set is going to be versatile and we'll see you through okay so on this one i have three large ones two made out of green and one out of the silver glitter cardstock and one teeny weeny one and i'm going to just die cut uh what where is it where is it here it is I'm just going to die cut another small one and i'm wondering where my peg's gone there we go i'm losing things today okay grab the big shot out I'm not done with the big shot yet because I am going to add a sentiment to this as well. Okay, so just for a bit more effect, I like to rumple these up. I am being quite gentle at the same time as pressing them down because I don't want any anything to rip because we do have this delicate area just here. So just folding those up. There we go and here we have the other one okay there we go right let's get all these popped on i'm going to be using the same glue again now if you are experimenting and putting these in a different place to where i am have a dry run first without glue just to get your positions just right see how you like it oh i forgot something jumping ahead again i have a little strip here of red card to add to uh, just the top now this is round about a quarter of an inch And you can do front and back if you want to. Just for this video, I'm just going to do the front. Turn that off. The bees are going from this side. There we go. Okay, now we can put the leaves on. Oh, the glue is still wet. It hasn't dried. Okay, so there is our first one, and I'm going to pop my second one on there. Adding all these and rumpling them up really does give that nice dimensional look to your projects. I'm just going to pop that on there. There we go. Just adding glue here to the central parts of the leaves so that the ends kind of like flap out a bit. I really love that sort of look. I'm just going to pop that on there. Again, just keeping the glue just to the stem and the base leaves near the stem. I'll pop this little guy here. There we go. This doesn't really need much else at all, but I do want to kind of add a word on there. 
so I'm just going to pop that there you can add a little ribbon if you like little bows and things I have added a little bow just to this one okay where's my pin here it is now I'm going to be moving over to some words now again script words there's so many you can choose from loads of companies do these little script words big script words i'm going to go for something a little bit different to what i normally go for because i do normally go for script words but i do really like this set as well so this is jack frost this is the dymo star words again by textures and i have gone for the word joy here i've gone for winter wishes here and let's grab the die out that we need loads to choose from as you can see they are really nicely sized as well so again you can use these for birthdays christmas winter so we have birthday here as well so yeah loads of different things you can use that for okay so let's grab the big shot out again and I'm going to grab my red card. I'm going to have the word joy written in red. Now, if you're wondering how I did this one before I die cut it out, I ran it through with the silver first and then I glued that onto some red card stock and then I literally just chopped it and trimmed it out. So that is how you get that effect. big shots the wrong way around there we go so I do have a random joy there I could literally just trim that out keep the center from this here Turn that, that was upside down and there we have the word joy so I can use that in another project you could trim it out maybe put something behind it so I'm just gonna pop this to the side okay I now have my words my word joy ah. okay so let's get that popped on here again this is the beauty of this little bottle it's absolutely perfect for these little things you can add add your glue there or you can add it to your hand and then tap your tiny die cut on the top I'm going to be spelling this backwards because it's all the the word is butted up to the right hand side so let's quickly show you you can add your glue here as well just like that If you have a hairy hand maybe um, definitely use one of these unless you want a, a wax reminds me of a time when I was in nursery and I had some PVA glue on my hand I think it was like on my, like the knuckle bit there I was only about three or four and I went to the toilets and washed my hand and um, dried them I still had some glue there so Obviously, me being three, I didn't know that it would hurt. Peeled it off. It obviously pulled some hair that was there. And I absolutely screamed. And then all of the mums from the mums and toddlers group came running to the toilets to find me saying, Ow, that really hurt. But anyway, now I know. Well, I learned from a very young age how much waxing hurts. So anyway, yeah, that was a story that I have never forgotten. Okay, so there we have our lovely little box. I have two now. Again, these teeny weeny ones, these make lovely advent calendars. So I just have one more set to show you. I absolutely love this one. There are so many numbers and advent die sets out at the moment, but this particular one I want to show you because it is my favorite. It's really easy to use. All the numbers are in groups. So you can literally just set all of these out on your die machine on a piece of card. I'll give you an example here. Here we go. We have our double numbers 
with their equivalent ones and twos so you don't have to die cut out 10 ones and that you can just literally do all this in one pass and you will have your complete set of advent numbers now this is going to be a main staple in my um in my stash because it's that that useful because i don't really like to keep you know run things through 20 times just to get some numbers so that is super nice and easy so that is the paper discovery rustic christmas advent stars and numbers die set so you also get all of these extra little things as well so that's a really 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 good set so everything that i've uh, used today i will link down below i'm hoping they're not sold out by the time this comes to air i'm planning for this to come to air on black friday um i don't know if any of these are in the black friday sale at all um but anyway i know craft stash will have loads and loads of offers so go check those out so this is my gift bag pouch and i absolutely love it so again everything is listed down below um the measurements and for this larger one for the smaller one and the larger one will be on my website that will be linked down below so thank you very much for joining me today give me a thumbs up if you like this one and i'll see you again soon